it's time to think a bit. And today I got an email. It was from FreedomFi. It said your 5G reservation is now available. All right. So I clicked on that. And then I have three options to choose from. Look at this. 2500 bucks. Are you kidding me? Then I have this $1,000 $1, for a helium miner. Still kind of expensive. I don't know if it's worth it. But this one, definitely not worth it. $2,500 for a helium miner. I mean, I don't understand this stupid 5G box they give you. It's only for indoor. So why would you use that? I mean, if you have a coffee shop, that's what people keep on saying. Oh, it's for like coffee shops, I guess bars, restaurants. So you're going to hook this up to your Wi-Fi to make people use 5G? Why not just use your Wi-Fi router? That makes no sense. So instead of using your fast Wi-Fi router, hook up this little indoor 5G device to the Wi-Fi router and make everyone sign into that? I don't understand how that's good for the network. Like the outdoor ones, I see how that could work. But these indoor ones... They're overpriced and useless. Use your indoor router. If you have a Wi-Fi router and, and you own a business, why not just, maybe if you're above a bar, maybe if you have, have an apartment above a bar or coffee shop, you could set this up there and try to steal people from using their Wi-Fi. But if you own a business, why make your customers use shittier Wi-Fi? Use 5G when they can use your fast Wi-Fi router? Come on, that makes no sense. Freedom Fi, this is an upsell, a horribly priced upsell that is useless. I say just get this one. I think it's overpriced, but still, I mean, hopefully when the outdoor ones come, I mean, you can make your money back on it, but this one, pff, horribly priced, overpriced, and this is useless. Wi-Fi router, more distance, more speed, more better. More distance, more speed, more better. I mean, you can go, we can go to Freedom's Fire web website. They have like no information about this small cell. I was looking for information about it. There's like no information about this small cell. I mean, it's crazy. So if you're looking to see if you could buy, should buy this small cell Wi-Fi device, don't buy it. Trust me, don't buy it. I don't see why you would buy it. I guess if you want to hook it up to your internet in your house, and I guess if it's five gig of data per, I mean, if you're, ah, I'm trying to think a plan. If you, I guess if you hooked it up to your internet router, and then you just do all your internet off that 5G device. You can have YouTube videos playing on a whole bunch of different devices. Just like have like a go load up a playlist in YouTube. You know, go to YouTube, type in playlist, have it like on a few computers. You know, your TV, a couple TVs in your house, and they just have it playing. And if it's hooked up to that router, I wonder if that would work. I mean, because each YouTube video is a few hundred megabytes, right? So, damn, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if that would work or not. I don't know if it all has to be on different, it can't be on different IPs. I'm not sure how the shit works, but, man, they need to do an AMA or something. We need some answers for this. Right now, I'm just picturing in my mind how I could scam them out on this 5G device. Maybe I should buy it. Maybe this one is worth it. I was thinking this is all trash can. But maybe if I could scam them out, just have hook up my Wi-Fi to it, and just have YouTube playlists playing everywhere. And then, damn. So 50 cents for a gig. That's like two YouTube videos. That's 50 cents. See, this is like people are going to scam the system so much with these 5G devices. Damn, I guess it's good to get this small device now that I think about it. It's definitely worth it because if you're one of the first ones to get it, 
you can just take advantage of it until helium fixes the problem right there's gonna be a whole bunch of glitches problems when it first comes out poc 11 still is not out they delayed it again see if all these people like scamming helium still they still have not fixed all these problems so i guess the sooner you get a 5g device the more you could start scamming helium out of money so i guess you don't want to buy this device and everyone's making YouTube videos talking about, hey, mate, let's watch all these YouTube playlists and you're going to make a ton of money. So I guess it's better to get this one. And that's the one I'm ordering. And if you want to buy it, if you want to buy this shit, I'll sell it to you for, let me think of a price. I'm going to buy this one. So that's how you see what I'm playing. There's probably gonna be tax involved also. So there's gonna be tax involved. So let me think of a good number here. Ten thousand dollars. I'm gonna buy this one, and if you want it, I mean, with, with taxes involved and stuff, it's probably gonna come up uh, come up to around like forty five hundred, right? Because taxes are a lot. So I just want to double my money. Ten thousand. You could have this device tomorrow. I'll overnight it to you, but. I'm going to be covering POC 12 in my next video I'm telling you I mean POC 11 is already coming out basically in November if they don't delay it again but POC 12 I'm gonna tell you what they're working on next in my next video so make sure you like comment and subscribe and I mean POC 12 has some major changes great updates coming and stay tuned for that video all right I'm Joe King and I'm done.